Welcome back, 8th graders. I believe it's a week four into quarantine online learning. And uh, sorry for the glare here on uh, my glasses, but uh, for some reason, when I do this at night versus in the morning, I just get some glare there. So, hey, uh, welcome back. Hopefully, you had a good Easter and uh, there we go. straightened out. Um, <clears throat> Where we need to go this week is uh, obviously the first thing is is we need to Zoom on Tuesday. That doesn't change. You should have already gotten that email yesterday. I gave you Monday off basically because it was an extension of Easter break. But uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to Zoom tomorrow. And a couple of the things that we're going to look at is uh, the class zone video that deals with Chapter 16 and uh, talking about the secession after the election of 1860. So if you have a few minutes to preview that, you can. If not, we're going to watch it as a group. That'll be our focus. Uh, and when we get done with that, we'll talk about the assignments for the week, and then uh, we'll be done. I would envision the Zoom to take about 20 to 25 minutes tomorrow. So um, not going to be a full, not going to be a full class. <clears throat> the second thing that you have to do this week, 8th graders, is I want you to dive into the strengths and weaknesses of the North and the South. Uh, page 514 in your textbook, whether you're online or you have the hard copy book. And by the way, Jeremiah Kauf, I believe your hard copy book is in the junior high gym. I saw it on a table today. But uh, page 514 does, a, does an okay job of just breaking things down, uh, talking about what the strengths and the weaknesses were of both the North and the South. Obviously, both sides, uh, they have good things to bring to the battle, to the war itself. Um, the other thing I put on there was a link to uh, ushistory.org that uh, should give you a little bit. It's, it's not a long article. It's, uh, I don't know, probably take you three or four minutes to read it, but it should give you some more information to add into the T-chart that you're going to create. Now, you can do that on uh, Google Sheets. Or you can do that on uh, just a Google Doc and just make two columns and then just put strengths and then weaknesses for the Union and then do Confederate strengths and weaknesses. So I would like you to type that up and attach it. Make sure you attach it in Classroom. So anyway, you can use page 514 and then you can use the link that I gave you for that short article on uh, ushistory.org. Uh, that should help you to be able to put dive into the strengths and weaknesses. If you want to go to some other places online, that's fine. Uh, I know there's a lot of good stuff out there about the Civil War. So uh, the third thing that we're going to have to do this week, the first one is a Zoom. second one is to create the T-chart of strengths and weaknesses. And then the third one is there's a short video that's eight minutes long. I would like you to watch. Uh, it deals with the uh, the Battle of Fort Sumter. And that was the first battle of the Civil War. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's really the, it's the, a few small Union soldiers that are holding on for about three days in April. But at the same time, it's, uh, it's in a southern state. It's in South Carolina. And, uh, and really, uh, people show, out, show up to, to watch this battle uh, by Har Charleston Harbor. And, you know, they do it for the next couple of battles as well, that both sides think this is going to be a really short war. They think that both sides have what it takes to just achieve a quick victory and secure their way of life, but both sides are very wrong. And uh, Fort Sumter is just the beginning of a long five-year battle. But there is a this video is on battlefields.org. Uh, it's pretty gripping. Uh, it's pretty... I don't know, it's entertaining, it's animated, and uh, so what I want you to do with that video is I want you to watch it, and then I want you to write up 10 questions with answers that go with that video. The questions should be unique, they should be original, and, uh, and if I were to hand that out to somebody else after they watch that video, it would be it would serve like it was a quiz. So basically, you're writing your own quiz over the over that video. So again, you get three things this week. You got a Zoom, 
which is on Tuesday tomorrow or this morning whenever you're watching this. The second thing, uh, page 514, T-chart, strengths and weaknesses of the North and South or the Union and the Confederacy. And then the third thing is, is uh, you got a video over the Battle of Fort Sumter uh, on battlefields.org. That video will serve as our Zoom for next week, and we'll start diving into uh, the two sides of the split in the Civil War. So, again, hopefully you had a good Easter, and uh, hopefully this was the last snow that we're going to have. Hopefully by the end of the week we get some nice weather, and it's going to be good from here on out. Um, the last thing that I want to remind everybody is that when we do come to Zoom, I do expect you to come, and it's just like class. I expect you to pay attention. I expect you to be respectful of the other people there. Um, I respect you to either raise your hand, or if you if you have the updated Zoom version, you can raise your hand there. Um, I, I just I expect you to be respectful. Um, and and I know that we're all trying to figure this out, but I just. I just want to make sure that you understand that those are my expectations. They would be no different than if we were in the classroom or if we're online. Okay. And so keep working hard and uh, see you tomorrow.